Hello, and welcome back to the challenge run with me, Zedrathor. We are playing Final Fantasy Tactics, and last time we got through the Orban Monastery. Now, what's left to do? Well, let's see. We got a, uh, a book from, um, from what's his name? So, where do we get that? Is it in the Brave Story? Yes, it is. Treasure. Oh, the Germanic Scriptures. Uh, let's see. Let's read it. I picked up the Germanic scriptures Simon gave me and flipped through the pages. The text was in an ancient holy script with drawings and places. It was damaged and hard to read. I wondered what was written in it. Then, I saw some words in a language I recognized. Somebody had written some notes in the Ikoku language. Who could have done it? Judging from the ink, the older notes were written years ago. But the newer ones were written only days ago. It smudged when I rubbed it. The ink was not yet dry. They were written by the same person. I realized Simon had been slowly translating this book over the years. Try e reading it by referring to his partial notes. It says, this is written by a follower of St. Ajora, Germanic. Germanic? I'd heard that name before must have been in history class. Then it came to me. Germanic was the disciple who betrayed Saint Ajora by selling him to the Eudora Empire. It was amazing Germanic's book was even still in existence. Calming myself, I turned the pages. Then I found something more amazing than the historical legacy in my hands. I've, I thought Germanic compiled St. Ajora's words in this book, but I was wrong. It's a record of St. Ajora's activities, and not the St. Ajora we know. A record of Ajora the human. First off, St. Ajora is not human. I'm not a true believer in Ge Glabados like Zalbag. But I do believe Saint Ajora was a child of God sent from heaven to save this troubled world. Rather, I should say, I did believe. Until I read this book. It was the golden age when many airships flew all over the sky. The day Saint Ajora was born in Bervenia of Lazelia, he stood up walked to the well and said calamity will come from this well soon we must seal it so people don't drink the water days later plague swept over Bervenia the people who drank the tainted water died but the only family who believed him didn't get sick and survived since then, people called him Miracle Child, Child of God. When Saint Ajora turned 20, he became a savior and was sent to heaven as a member of God. Long before Ivalis was united, it was divided into seven small kingdoms, Zeltenia, Fovaham, Lionel, Limbury, Lazalia, Galion, Morand. As the kingdoms continued to increase their territories, the wars continued. In the several hundred years of war, an ambitious young king was born in Morand. Though he led an army large enough to cover Valis, the way to victory was long and hard. Using the secret method from an ancient book, 
the king tried to summon an evil spirit and use its power. But the evil spirit killed the king and tried to destroy the world. One brave with 12 followers collected zodiac stones from all over the world and revived them. They destroyed evil in an instant and succeeded in sending the evils back to Hades. This is how they became saviors. That's the Zodiac Braves legend. Ever since, every time the world is in danger, they appear, save the world, and disappear. When Saint Tajora was alive, similar things occurred. The King of Limbury summoned an evil spirit to take over Ivalis. The world once again fell into crisis. Saint Tajora collected 12 holy stones, just like the legend, formed the Zodiac Braves, and killed the evil. But heroes are always a nuisance to rulers of a country. The Eudora Empire was afraid of Ajora, who was gaining power, announcing the arrival of God's kingdom. Eudora sent troops against one of his sects. The priests of Farah largest sect then, were afraid of St. Ajora's power. He was caught and executed at Golgarand execution grounds after Germanic told of his whereabouts for money. But St. Ajora was a child of God, and the priests of Farah were smitten by an angry god. After the execution, the base at Farah, Murand, sunken by various natural disasters. This is how Saint Ajora was sent to heaven as a child of God, and became a member of God. And that's all I know, all anyone in Ikoku knows of the myth of Saint Ajora. But the Saint Ajora in the Germanic scriptures was a totally different person. Ajora was not a child of God, but a human just like us. An ambitious revolutionary who fought to fulfill his dream. Moreover, he loved peace and was not a hero who risked his life for others. This is what Germanic wrote. A founder of advanced new religion, Ajora was a threat to the empire. But Ajora had another side to him, other than being a priest. He was a spy who entered enemy territory agitating and gaining information. Anyhow, Ajora was a threat to the Empire. The Empire sent Germanic to find proof that Ajora was a spy. Yes, Germanic was also a spy of the Empire, watching Ajora's activities. They say Ajora tried to revive the Zodiac Braves. Germanic found some holy stones to prove it. But... What does that have to do with re for reformation? I don't know if young King Limbury really summoned an evil spirit. At least nothing is written about it in the book. However, it's a fact that Moron met with natural disaster and sunk into the sea at the time of Ajora's death. This is where Simon's notes were most interesting. They appeared to be his personal opinion. Despite rumors of its existence, no one ever saw the Germanic scriptures. I don't know whether the book tells the truth or fabricates Ajora's great achievements. When I was a hearsay examiner for the church, many examiners felt afraid to show the people the book. The high priest probably felt the same because everything the book said was true. After Ajora's death, the church had to unite Saint Ajora with God making him divine. To do that, unsuitable facts had to be deleted from history and Saint Ajora had to become a child of God. They were wise to use the Zodiac Brave story, widely believed in Ikaku. It was easy to make people believe the Zodiac Braves led by Ajora killed an 
imaginary evil spirits. When I read this book, I lost my faith. But I'm not sad, because it inspired me to search for the truth. At the same time, I'm guilty for not bringing it to the light. Even though I knew the church was lying. Why? Because if I told people about the book, I was afraid they would take the library away from me. I would have been devastated if the library was taken away from me because it satisfied my thirst for knowledge. <laughs> but my curiosity got the best of me. Simon spoke of an imaginary evil. But I sensed a scheme by someone other than the high priest. After seeing the berserk power of the holy stones. Well, that was a nice story. What a nice story. Alright, well, that's that. Let's go to Dorder. What's this? Come on, load, you silly game. <coughs> oh, it's raining. Ramu's in power. Don't shake your head. Rain is nice. Alright, what's this? Exotic wizard. What does he want with us? Oh, yeah, where's Alma? We want Alma back. Riovanis Castle. Okay. Well, why? Yeah. Have we read it? Well, we just read it! We just had story time! Yeah, and we know all the lies of the church about Saint Jorah. No choice. What do you mean, no? Oh, well, Alma, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we have to go to... <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, Rivanis Castle. Come on. Which is all the way up there. Kind of a nice uh, trip to go. Okay, let's check the shop. Fitting room. Let's see, what do we have here? Ah, got my cord stuck. Uh, oh, wizard rods. Excellent. Wizard rods are quite useful. Again, they increase magic power. So let's get some wizard rods. Do we have anything better than the holy miter? No. No, not at all. How about the wizard robe? Uh, ooh. Ah, yes. Uh, do I want... It has fire, lightning, and ice, but it gets rid of some magic power. Uh, let's see... What kind of money I have left after I get everybody this. Okay, and what about the mantle? I got some elf mantles, that's good. Uh... Oh, I'm not gonna have enough. Oh, that's fine. Yep, that's good. Okay, now let's see if I can get up here. Oh, another cutscene! <laughs> I forgot about that. Silly cutscenes. Silly, silly cutscenes. Come on. Ruins of Zeltenius Castle's Church. Zeltenius Ca Zeltenia Castle's Church. 
Oh, look, it's Delita and Ovelia. Were they? Yeah, she's... Well, let's see. If I remember correctly, she's been pretty badly broken. Don't mock her. Mocking women never, never helps. It's very bad for you. Trust me, I know. You better apologize. Silly Delita. Um, what is he going to do? Ah, uh, you look like Avelia. Even if you aren't. But it's her name. But she's Ovelia. It's her name. Her nameplate hasn't changed. Uh, I don't know. I guess. Hmm. It's sad. Uh, I don't know. What was it for? What are you fighting for? You weren't raised as a noble, Delita. False lives? How are you living a false life? Oh, well, yeah, but we didn't use you. We're your friend. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Delita. I agree. Way of the world. Oh, we're getting some major character development of Delita here. Even acting, I guess. Oh, so you're gonna use people instead of being used? Isn't that? Eh, never mind. Just pay for what they've done. Very nice. Nicely said, Delita. Nicely said. What will you do? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Will you? Okay. I don't know. Trust him, Ovelia. I guess so. He doesn't seem to be too bad. He seems to be helping. Why not? I guess he's got a point there. He hasn't betrayed you yet. Uh... Aww. In the PSP version, there's a fight there. Two ninjas try to assassinate them. And it's still heartwarming. Aww. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess that's good for now. I'll get up towards the next area in the next video. So... There we go. That's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Bye.